It's been coined muck, and it's eating up shorelines all across Macomb County here on Lake St. Clair. The county now taking steps to figure out what it is, how they can get rid of it, and how they can make sure it doesn't return. What is causing it? Lingbaya, more popularly known as muck, is inhabiting Lake St. Clair. It seems to be organic. It seems to be growing on the, uh, on the bottom of Lake St. Clair in various areas. Then when you get an onshore wind, this stuff just keeps piling up on the shoreline. Macomb County Public Works Commissioner Candace Miller says the county is partnering up with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for a two-year study to learn more about its spread, ecological and human health risks, and the eventual creation of a management plan for muck around the lake. The project will cost a total of $400,000, which will be split between the county and the Army Corps of Engineers. We used to swim out there all the time and it was nice clean water. On the other side of a fence next to an old DNR launch site that Muck forced to close lives Harrison Township resident Rick Dobreth. His family bought the home in 1972. He bought it from his parents in 1994. He says Muck has been around for decades. In year 2000, I had to dredge my boat well. It was completely dry and it was all filled with that muck. Dobreff, who's in Florida for the winter, says the smell is unbearable during the summer heat to the point where sitting outside on the water isn't even possible. I've a couple of times went into the water and um, done some things on my boat lifts and it, you sink right down into the muck. And I come out and I gotta like douse myself with cleaning just to you know get rid of it. Dobreff wants to see results. He believes muck is sewage and that funds put into muck mitigation should be spent effectively through disposal efforts. What's causing it? Is it climate change? Is it the zebra mussels? Uh, is it uh, combined sewer overflows that are coming down the Clinton River or the spillway and feeding this organically? We really don't know. Reporting in Harrison Township, Luke Laster, CBS News, Detroit.